Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Boilerat66 here. I know it says Jeb Blackburn on the YouTube, but that is because that is my second life name, and it was asking for two names instead of just one, so I couldn't just put Boilerat66, and I didn't realize, you know, I could have just put Space 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 as the last name, but I didn't think of that at the time, and now I can't change it for some reason. Anyhow, if I could get a hold of uh, YouTube or something and get that changed, that's probably what I'll do. But in the meantime, you're stuck with it being Jeb Blackburn. However, my gamer name is BullerRat66. What I'm going to do is go ahead and do a gameplay slash walkthrough of Diablo 3. And I'm going to go ahead and do it in normal mode. If you all want me to, after I get through the whole series, go ahead and play it in nightmare mode, I will do so. Uh, nightmare mode, all it is is your bosses are a little bit, your boss battles are a little bit uh, stronger. Uh, when you go through it in nightmare mode. So we'll figure that out as we go. All you gotta do is leave anything you want to know or to for me to do in the comments and I will do so. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through the classes right now. You got the barbarians, which I don't know why it's on female. We'll go ahead and do it as male. The barbarian is an up close and personal with mostly edge weapons. He can also use maces and stuff, you know, blunt weapons, but He's up close and personal with weapons, and uh, he's pretty strong. Uh, he's got, you know, of course, barbarian type spells, and that's, you know, the, his yells, his ground stomps, everything the barbarians normally can do, he can do. You got your demon hunter, which uses primarily the hand crossbows, or you can also use a regular full size two hand crossbow. Or later on, he'll have something called, what is it called, a staker, which is basically a hand crossbow, but it's got a bigger projectile, which does more damage, of course. And then you've got your monk. He is a hand-to-hand -hand combat. He hardly ever, and you can equip him with a sword and stuff, but his main thing is hand-to-hand -hand combat. So he uses things, it's kind of like a brass knuckle type of thing. Or he also uses what they call a daibo, which is a small staff. But that's all hand to hand, like I said. Then you got the witch doctor. And yeah, that's kind of a crazy sword, isn't he? He's got this little dagger, which he actually can fire those things off of that. It's kind of like a poison darts. I can, it's supposed to be kind of like a dart that he throws at him. That's my guess. That's my take on it. I'm not 100% sure what it's supposed to actually be. And then, of course, you got your wizard, which you've got in just about every game of Diablo that there is. And he's, again, another ranged fighter. I prefer the demon hunter, and but my second choice was always the wizard. Either one of them does exceptionally well. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and go with the demon hunter. And I'm going to name it something very easy easy to remember. The Bowman. And that's what I'm going to use for this entire walkthrough. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you know this hardcore mode. It says right here, warning, if your hardcore hero dies, you'll no longer be able to play with that hero. So what that ends up being is if you go into the game, once you die, you're done. So later on, if y'all decide you want me to do a hardcore character just to see how far I can make it with that hardcore character, all you gotta do is let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and create the hero. And I'm also going to, whenever there's things that they're talking, I'm going to shut up. That way y'all can hear everything in case you have never played the, the game before. I'm gonna do my best to not talk over anything that's being said. With that being said, let's go ahead and start this game.
rescued by survivors who had joined together to rid the world of the creatures of hell. They saw in me the strength to resist the demons. And they forged me into a weapon. Now, I am ready. A meteor has fallen in Tristram. And the dead have risen in its wake. I will send them back to their graves. Once, I was hunted. Now, I am the hunter. Okay, so the game begins. One thing I do want to mention, uh, you will find that there's the times that I'll like stumble this. on words. The star is near. Uh, it's almost like a stutter. In, in, in a way, I do stutter. And I apologize for that, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. What happens is, I'm thinking about what I'm going to say next before I s say what I thought of last. If you don't know, understand what I'm saying. And it happens often, and I apologize for that. I'm not as speakeasy as some of the people that uh, I have seen on other videos. I wish I could be, however I am who I am. I have journeyed here to find the fallen star and purge its evil from this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! You will notice that these are kind of easy to, to beat at the I've beginning. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. They're pretty easy to beat because they go by what your experience level is. Like right now we're level Zakarum 1, of course. This right here is a merchant. Got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. Of course, this particular merchant doesn't have the kind of stuff that we would need. However, he does have... I guess I should have said he doesn't have the weapons that we would need. I'm going to go ahead and buy those already level seven there where I know we're gonna find tunic and gloves may not find pants that is that good repairs you don't need to do until about level 10 once you hit level 10 then you will have to start repairing your equipment as you go but it gives you cut you a break at the beginning this is a new thing they added with one of the patches a book of Cain if you don't want to identify your stuff while you're out, once you come back into town, you can click on this Book of Cain and it will identify every unidentified item you have in your inventory. This is your stash. I already have a bunch of high-level stuff in my stash because I've already been playing a little bit. Just started doing YouTubes just recently and you'll notice that's why I don't have a whole lot of views. Hopefully this will change that. We're going in here to the Slaughtered calf and talk to Leah. Leah, is it? Rumford said that you survived the Fallen Star's impact. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but watch out! The wounded are turning. <laughs> This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. Then I shall put an end to them and secure your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Okay, so we leveled up. We're now level two, so that means we can get a secondary skill on our mouse, which would be our right mouse button, which would be impale. And that throws a knife that you can impale the enemies. And of course it uses hatred. You got discipline here, hatred here. So it uses up hatred in order to use that right mouse button. 
We're going in here. This is something that you're never told to come in this room. But there's these books that you can go ahead and open, and you it'll tell you a little bit of backstory. Uh, you'll get it just a little bit of it at a time. So let's go ahead and click on that. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... See, it just kind of cuts off there. Until you see her next one. And you find them throughout. Everywhere you go. I'm going to do these in uh, sections. Oh, let's go ahead and go in here. Because there's... I gotta help us. Eventually this will be closed off and we'll be able to get this book. We have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terra, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety. But I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. So if you played Diablo 1 and 2, you'll know who Deckard Cain is. In the very first one, it was in that cathedral that you did all of your battles. You just went down through. So we're going to go and talk to Captain Rump. What can I do to help fight the Risen Dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry. I will avenge their deaths. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! <laughs> That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. So you, this new lore, it'll whenever you come across a new monster, it'll tell you a little bit about them. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. You probably notice this kind of has a ricochet shot to it. That's the first thing you do get with this. And these big guys, which he's going to tell you about right now, the top part of their body, about 50% of the time, will come after you. It'll just break off and he'll come after you on his hands. And he, I'd say hands and knees, but he leaves his knees behind. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. Yeah, that would be the walking corpse. There he is. See how his upper body actually detached and came after me. Here's some new lore. Dear reader, I am Abdalhazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. Okay, so I pretty much go 
everywhere that you can go for re reasons just like that you'll find tree stumps and logs and barrels and things that contain gold coins but we'll go down in this musty shelter musty cellar and it's not always the same things you come across in these like you might go through one game and you've got these walking deads and and all that. And another time you might come in here on an, another character and you'll have some a totally different type of monster in here. It just all depends on what they're going to put in there during that gameplay. It's, it just things change up every now and then. Always want to check these dead carcasses whenever you can. Whenever they light up, they'll usually have gold and or equipment you can get from them. Yeah, it's always a good practice to get everything that you can out of these. I think that last time I was down in that particular cellar, it was those quill fiends that was down there. Kind of double back. You see, notice how the map black is all blacked out until you have traveled there. That's a good way of knowing if you've been to a certain area yet on that map and if you might have missed anything. Go ahead and check this cloth tunic and see if it's any better than the one I already have. No, nope, I knew it wouldn't. I was surprised to get a 7 class armor right off the bat like that. The scarecrows, about 90% of the time, will give you gold. Another wretched mother. We need to get three of those. So this will be our second one. Ne hardly ever do I pick up cracked stuff, damaged. Because they're not worth anything. Not that they're worth anything anyway, but... If it's blue, anything blue you want to pick up. Because it's always worth a bit more gold, even if you're not going to use it. Check and see if there's anything else in the area. There's an old diary. There's chaos everywhere, and word in town is that Lakdanin killed the king. If only this is true. Perhaps our days and nights of living in terror are behind us now. Go down into the damp cellar. Lots of rats. Wow, there's nobody in here. Something tells me that when I check out this corpse, all of a sudden something's going to appear here. You notice how there's clumps in here. I'll bet you something comes out of those when I touch this body. Love being right. It's not because I already knew that, because I have actually not been in this cellar. This was not open my first few times through. Uh, they do updates quite often on Diablo 3, and every time there's an update, things change. They add new stuff. There's things that are later on in the game that I have not done at all. Even though I have run all the way through and got to Nightmare Mode on other characters, there's still new stuff added all the time, so that's a good thing about it. You can sit out for six months, come back to it. It's like playing a whole new, well, I can't say a whole new, but partially new game because of all the stuff that they add continuously.
there's something new. This well was never here before. So let's just uh, see what this was. Ah, low quality. I'll be going back up that way anyway, so I'll pick that gold up when I'm my way back through. But let's see what this is. Oh, wow. A lot of gold just laying around. Is there going to be anything good here? Guess we'll find out together, won't we? Yeah, I went ahead and started a new character so I could see this new stuff that wasn't here before. Of course, it probably would go be there on my second run through. Well, we've been everywhere down here. There's been nothing spectacular except for the fact there was a lot of gold laying around. Which is good when you're just starting on your low levels, get you gold to buy things that you may not have been able to get before. Now, these bolts don't always bounce that way. Sometimes you get lucky bounces and they take out a lot of enemies at once. There's that last wretched mother. The task is done. There we These go. unholy creatures can so rest the now. Last one we needed, but there's a corpse over here I need to check out. And a journal. Oh, wait, before I read that, I'm going to take these guys out. That was easy. While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably. As I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this and new Tristram before it's too late. Every once in a while you get real lucky bounces. I don't think I got gloves yet. I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. I thought I heard something come out down here. Yeah, sure did. One more that just stayed hidden down there. All right, let's take a look at these gloves. Oh, only a class four, but that's all right. We'll eventually find something better. Always do. Another one of the wretched mothers, even though I don't need them anymore. I can still kill them, of course. to the end of our quest now. Diablo's evil still lingers here. And wh where's our... There it is. There's our objective boss. Queen. Wretched Queen, I guess you'd call it. The easiest bosses you'll take out. Let's see if this guy's got anything out. No. Not very often does he have anything on him. Simple dagger, don't need it. I don't like to pick up a lot of stuff. Because then you just end up having to drop stuff if your inventory fills up and you find blue items. Blue items are always the best to pick up because they got special attachments. Special things that they can provide for you.
One of the good things too is if you're aiming at one particular creature and something else gets in the way, it'll still hit them. You know, there's a lot of games that if you're not aiming at it, it don't matter. It's not going. It's not going to kill it. Nope, I already got that. All right, we're going to go ahead and go back to Nutrist, and I'm going to go ahead and finish this off here once we get back as well. This is our first quest, and I plan to go ahead and. Especially if they're long quests, I'm going to just do one quest at a time. If I know that there's two short ones in a row, I'll go ahead and do that. But I'm doing a lot of explaining, so let's go ahead and talk to Captain Rumford real quick. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. I could get accustomed to that. So that was the end of our first quest right there. Nice little batch of XP earned. 370 gold, not too shabby. Even got us a new skill slot. You can change it to Entangling Shot. I don't really use it. What that'll do is it'll slow down your enemies. It'll be like putting a chain between two of them so that you can't really... It's hard to work together, so to speak. Kind of work against each other and slow themselves down. But I'm going to keep it with the Hungry Narrow. But I got a new one here, Caltrops, which places a trap that allows, or that slows enemies. So go ahead and accept that. Now the one button will do, will set those traps. And it helps slow them down enough that it might make a huge difference. I guess I never did choose Impale. I don't know why I did not do that. But you always want to, every time you level up, you always want to check and see if there's new things. Now, it's not until I get to level 9 before I get a, the next one. But there will be changes in these others. There possibilities, you know. You know what I'm saying. Right there is the banner. And that would be used as if you want to play with dead. a friend. You pl both play at the same time, then both of your banners will be here. And what can happen is if I was to go somewhere and I'm playing with you and you stick around here and you check all the merchants and everything, but I move ahead, all you have to do is click on my banner and it'll take you to where I am. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off here. I hope you liked it. Uh, go ahead and like it. Hit the like button, the thumbs up if you did like it. Um, go ahead and put in the comments anything that you would like to see me do whether it be to go ahead and try a hardcore character and see just how far I can get before ever dying uh, possibly make it past the first big boss you never know um, yeah if you want to keep up to date on when I go ahead and put more videos out go ahead and subscribe to my channel I will be doing videos I also do World of Tanks I do War Thunder I haven't done any War Thunder yet, no videos, but I plan on doing that. Uh, Never Winter, Torchlight 2, I mean, I've got a bunch of games that I play on the computer. And we'll be doing videos on them. It might only be like well, War Thunder and World of Tanks. It just may be some random gameplay. But at least you'll know when it's up there. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to. Make sure you like it. Uh, if you watch any of my World of Tanks or War Thunder, of course, I'm going to mention some other people that do the, the same videos, and they are very, very good. Much better than I could ever be. Hopefully, someday, I'll be able to play those games with them. But for now, I'm working on getting these videos out to you of the walkthrough gameplay of Diablo 3. For now, everyone, have a wonderful evening morning, whatever it is that you, when you are watching this, and I will see you all later.